Well, what's going on everyone? So my friends, right into a little issue here with Project Humvee, and this is a heat issue. Now, in part five of the video, I installed the new controller and hooked up the electronics and gave it a little test run. Now, shortly after that test run, I decided to uh, run a little bit here in the RC room and just uh, get the settings dialed in on the controller and stuff. And I run it for about five, 10 minutes around here in the room, just crawling over a few house rocks they have and some other stuff that's just laying in the floor. And I put it back up on the workbench there and uh, unplugged the battery and I hit the servo. And the servo was really hot, like extremely hot that you could not even touch it. That's how hot it was. So I was like, what's going on with this? Why is it overheating? Now, usually when your electronics overheat is due to a couple things. One could be a lack of airflow, which that's not the case. As you see, the body shell is still off on the Humvee. So it's definitely not an airflow issue. So next thing it could be is a power issue. It could be the ESC itself. Something internally is going wrong with it. Could be the BEC has gone out and all that current is being pushed to the servo. It could be the servo itself doing the same thing. It could be going out, it could be a bad servo, you know, uh, so I don't know. So I started going through and running different scenarios of how to fix this issue. So I, you know, did another servo, another ESC, another battery and stuff like that. And after a few hours of doing this, I finally come to the conclusion that the issue I'm having is the ESC. Now, how did I determine this issue, all right? So, as I said, I did multiple things. And I'm gonna put the camera up here on the tripod so I'm not jumping around and stuff like that. So let's get there, there we go. All right, so how did I determine this issue, okay? So, I tried out different things, different servos, different ESCs. So I plugged up the stock ESC from the Humvee and ran it. The servo got hot, but not extremely hot. Like it cooled down really quick and everything when I ran it. So it's gotta be the ESC itself. And I actually called up my buddy Paul, which Paul is my best friend. He is my RC tech guy. He knows everything about RCs. I mean, this guy is, He's full of knowledge about RCs. So I told him my problem. He's like, yeah, sounds like your, ser uh, not servo, it sounds like your ESC. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Now the other thing, why I'm determined it's the ESC is that I can actually hear the current and it was loud. I hear the current rolling through my receiver to the servo. So I believe that the stock axial ESC that I put in the vehicle is pretty much shot or, or going out. It could be the BEC has completely shot out on it and all that current or all that power is being pushed to the servo and causing that servo to overheat because there's so much power going to it. So I'm thinking that is what is the cause of the heating on the servo. It's the stock axial ESC which that ESC is pretty old. That is the RTR ESC that came with the truck. And usually the RTR electronics only have a lifespan about a year or two. And that one has been in there probably since uh, 2018. So it's 2020 now. So yeah, it's got some runtime on it. So I'm definitely saying ESC, which I gone ahead and ordered another one, which will be here in a couple of days. I actually ordered a Hobbywing 1080 ESC, which is a great ESC for uh, your crawler vehicles. And so uh, I just ordered that, so it'll be here in a few days. So once I get that, I'll wire it up, stick it in the vehicle and see about, you know, see how that does. So yeah, now I should have done this for the gecko. I should have gotten the Hobbywing 1080 and stuck in the vehicle first off, but I was trying to use what electronics I had on hand versus spending money and buying other electronics. And as you see, that didn't really turn out too well. So hopefully that will be the, you know, the, solve, the problem solving of it, uh, or hopefully that will solve the problem of the uh, server over, uh, overheating. So yeah, so yeah. So just a little snack in the project there. So, but it is a project, it's gonna happen. 
doesn't matter what project you do, if it's RCE, if you're modeling your house or customizing your car, you're always going to run into a little issue that's going to set you back a little bit. So, yeah. But, hey, it's all it's the, the fun of it, right? So, yeah. So, once that uh, hobby wing comes in, I'll wire it up. So let's say I put it in there and test it out and see how it goes. And I'll give you guys an update on that when uh, all that's said and done. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So, little stop on the project, but not a total stop. I still have to work on the body shell a little bit and uh, some other things. All right. Well, my friends, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video of Project Humvee. So, yeah. All right, my friends. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all later.